Hello everyone, welcome to Alice Hat Gaming Time. Today we're going to be talking about old news and also new news. But first, we might as well talk about the new news first and then we'll go into some of the old stuff. Okay, uh, here's the intro. I filmed this uh, at least over seven times from the old information to the new information, so at this point, <laughs> I hope this works out. Last week, the new update officially came out and it brought the new mode called Capital Supremacy and more. Also, a community update video also came out about it. So, if you want to know what the update um, had included into it, then I'll put that video link down below. And also, it has been confirmed by Benwog that new maps will be coming to Capital Supremacy in the future. There is a possibility that this could start in April, but overall, we're just going to have to wait and see. And finally, we can confirm that a hotfix is coming next week. A bit of play happened last week on Monday, and some of the things that they announced are the following. Iron Man VR, which will be coming in 2019, they announced some PlayStation exclusive skins, which are classic skins for Crash Team Racing, and that's going to be coming out on the day that the game comes out. And also a Five Nights at Freddy's VR game is also going to be coming. And finally, I can't really say the name of it, but all I will say is that I feel like I get some sore vibes of it. So, uh, here's a little clip from the new trailer. If I leave now, that darkness will just come back here. I can't let that happen. Now with some new releases. The final episode for Final Fantasy um, XV called Episode Angwar is now out but it's not a part of the season pass so you will have to buy this separately. Walking Dead Final Season Episode 4 is officially out and also Kingdom Hearts the story so far for the PlayStation 4 is out now in North and Latin America, including Europe. And finally, some new DLC is out for the Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Just want to let you know that we've got two more left. Finally, we've got some more information about Kingdom Hearts 3's Critical Mode Fire Game Informer. Now, in this Game Informer post article, whatever you like to call it, it basically says that um, they are working on it, but they don't have any real announcements to currently make. And the interviewer did try to ask about DLC, but overall got no hope, got no answer whatsoever. So we're still waiting, but I'll put the full link down below. Now to the old information. Battlefront 2 released a new community transmission on the new game mode two weeks ago. Plus, it's also been confirmed that they did make a prototype for Battle Royale, but they never really got to finish it because they moved on to Clone Wars content and the stuff that we actually want. And finally, there is a March survey out now, Kingdom Hearts 3 had a presentation at the Game Development Conference event. It talked about pre-development um, footage and including how they made certain things. Overall, it was quite interesting. 
I, uh, I understand that people were upset due to the fact that no DLC was announced, but Fire Game Informer once again, uh, the director said that Critical Mode is coming very soon to the game. We don't know what very soon means, but we'll keep waiting. And finally, this showed up on the PlayStation add-on section in the store. About two weeks ago, Nintendo Direct had a Direct for indie developers. It showed off uh, Stranger Things Season 3, the game, which will be coming to the Switch on July 4th, and Cuphead will be coming to the Switch on April 18th. Life is Strange 2 also announced their Episode 3, 4 and 5 release dates. And in fact, I'm going to show you the chart right now. And finally, Epic Games has announced that Detroit Become Human, Beyond, Heavy Rain and more will be coming to the Epic Game Store. Now, I would be talking about other stuff that happened at the Game Development Conference events, but I just want to end the video here. There, thank you guys so much for watching. We will touch on uh, Google's new gaming uh, streaming platform in another video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.